Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico, and no bumper, we're going to get straight into it. 133 favorite artists. Why 133? I made a list. That's, that's where it ended. That's where I went. I'm good. So anyway, today is number 93, so we've already counted down about 40 people. So really getting into artists that I like a lot. And, you know, 133 sounds like a lot, but it's not. Uh, these are all people I just really love. And today, I, I always say every time that I got a good one, but I got a good one today. So what's the criteria real quick? It's ranking their discographies. I made 80-minute playlists, and then I listened to them for a year and ranked them and re-ranked them. Then there's the live experience. And, uh, and then, you know, how interested in, am I? Do I? Am I a fan? Do I read magazines? Do I buy books? Uh, et cetera. So, yeah, this, this artist I, I really like. And um, I actually got to uh, talk to him briefly one time, uh, the second time I saw him. So I've seen him twice in concert. He's a Londoner. And it's part of that whole early uh, London sort of new wave pub rock scene. And... Yeah, you know, I've got a playlist below. You can link on it and listen to my 80 minutes. Also, I've got a Patreon link below. You can support me there if you want or just support me by watching this original content. What we're talking about here is the great, great artist, Graham Parker. So I've seen Graham Parker twice and The Rumor once, but I've never seen Graham Parker and The Rumor. So what happened was I saw, uh, before I saw either one of them, I went to see Garland Jeffries and the rumor opened up and then they stayed on stage and they were his backing band. And then I saw uh, Graham Parker in 85 in a real mismatch. He was opening for Eric Clapton. Yeah, not, not a good match. And the people didn't really like Graham Parker. Um, yeah, it was Graham Parker in the shot. And then, uh, that was like, say in 85 and then in 96, I went to see him again. And this time at a club show with the figs, that was a great show. Uh, 1996, the acid Bubblegum tour. So yeah, um, really great. And the, the time I talked to him, it's only cause there was a, Good-looking woman sitting at my table. She came by herself. I came by myself. We just ended up sitting together in this nightclub, which later burned down, by the way. Really a shame. Scottsdale, Arizona. But uh, it was called the Rockin' Horse Saloon. Yeah, it was great. And the whole band came over because this, this woman was drop-dead gorgeous. And I ended up uh, talking to him. I just mentioned to Graham Parker that I'd seen an oldies act the night before. And he asked me who I saw, and I told him, and he was really interested in Mitch Ryder. Graham Parker and Mitch Ryder. So let me show you what I got. I got some really good stuff. I hope you're still hanging on here, because I've got some vinyl. Yeah, I got some vinyl on this one. But let me show you everything I've got, and I couldn't find Squeezing Out Sparks. So I think I have, I thought I had the, the one with bonus tracks around here someplace. Unless I took it to the record store. But anyway, I have the Parkerilla, which is a live al album. So that one's on CD. I have, uh, let's see, do I have these in order? Yeah. I have the Mona Lisa Sister. Isn't that a great cover? Graham Parker in a uh, habit. Yeah, I love that. The Mona Lisa Sister smoking a cigarette with sunglasses. Struck by lightning which is kind of acoustic. It's kind of a cool CD. Burning Questions. And then the tour that I saw, Acid Bubblegum, they released an album called The Last Rock and Roll Tour. This has a, a cover of Cream on it by Prince. If you haven't heard that, man, that is good. And this has one of my favorite songs by him sharpening axes if you have not heard sharpening axes this is the version that i recommend it's a little bit more energetic than the studio version 
and I'm going to keep on sharpening axes. So he's talking about his pen and his guitar. And he's just not going to put up with the BS of the world. Yeah, he's going to be a curmudgeon. Um, Graham Parker, BBC, live in concert. So this is an anthology of his BBC radio performances. Then I have this wonderful Rhino anthology. Passion is no ordinary word. And this is just a really fantastic two CD set with a nice nice uh, booklet that comes with it. And yeah, this is this is probably all you need of the uh, early material, but then you wouldn't get songs like Sharpening Axes because that came later. Now here's what I got on vinyl. I'm really excited to talk about this. I've got the EP The Pink Parker. So this is Hold Back the Night and Let Me Get Sweet on You, White Honey and Soul Shoes. But let me show you this, because this is this is just really cool. Uh, maybe I'll use this for the thumbnail. But it's on Mercury, but this is the CD, it's pink, right? And the condition on this is fair. It's got it's got one little scratch on that side and this side's much better hold back the night is a cover of a disco song and he's always done covers very cleverly there's a live album where he did nirvana's in bloom gotta hear it just him on the guitar fantastic on live alone in america he covers bob marley it's got a really wide range but yeah there we go a pink cd i love it but that's not the only vinyl I have, and I have very little vinyl. I sold the vast majority of it before I came down here. But I also am really happy to have Live at the Marble Arch, which is just a, a plain white cover. But if I open this up, I paid $15 for this. That seems like a pretty good investment now. But as you can see here, it's uh, it's made to look like a bootleg, but it's really a semi-boot because it's uh, actually on a proper record label. Uh, it's on a phonogram. But yeah, this is this is really cool, and this is a fantastic live performance with the rumor. So yeah, I think that's a. Obviously, I'm a fan to have all of that. And what do I like about him? His acerbic lyrics. He has songs like, I mean, he's so clever. He has a song called, It Takes a Village Idiot. Yeah, Museum of Stupidity. These are songs of his, <laughs> you know. And, uh, yeah, I just, I just uh, adore Graham Parker. So... Uh, that's it. Check out my playlist. I think it's pretty darn good. And as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia.